Now, she's been Prime Minister for less than a month, and this morning, Liz Truss is live on BBC Radio Bristol. Prime Minister, good morning. Good morning. I mean, it's hard to know what has fallen more since you entered uh, Downing Street, the value of the pound or the Tory poll racing, but on a serious note, no one can deny you entered Downing Street with a difficult job on your hands, but you've made the situation worse so far, haven't you? Well, let's remember the situation we were facing when I entered Downing Street, was that people were facing bills of up to £6,000 this winter for their energy. Uh, we were facing very high inflation and an economic slowdown. And I and the Chancellor have taken decisive action to deal with that. From this weekend, the energy bill price guarantee comes in, so people will be facing no more than £2,500 for a typical energy bill. We've also taken action to reduce our tax burden and spur Yeah, but Pr Prime Minister, with project, respect, that so is we the get same economic scripted answer you've given going. to every BBC local radio station this morning. You've got the Bank of England stepping in now to try and clean up a mess a government has caused. That has never happened. We have a very, very difficult economic global situation because of the war that Vladimir Putin has perpetrated in Ukraine and countries are under pressure Around yeah, but the this world, isn't this isn't Putin. This isn't just about Putin. I mean, your chancellor on Friday opened up the stable door and spooked the horses so much you can almost see the economy being dragged behind them. This is about Putin and the war in Ukraine. That is why we so are. So the Bank of England's intervention yesterday crisis. was the fault of Vladimir Putin, was it? What I was saying is, it's very difficult and stormy times in the international markets. And of course, the Bank of England is independent. It takes the action it needs to take. And it is responsible for interest rates and it is responsible for financial stability. But it is right that the government took action to deal with people's fuel bills. It's right that we took action to deal with the excessively high tax burden. And it's right that we've taken action to get the economy going. And the vast majority of the package on Friday was about energy support. And if we hadn't acted decisively and quickly on energy support, people would be facing these appalling fuel bills this winter. I think that's what's important to know. Of course, it's a difficult situation. Of course, uh, the decisions are tough, but we have to do it. We but absolutely you didn't, have you to didn't do have it. To Otherwise, make it worse, did you? You didn't have to create so many tax cuts that it has spooked the market and is causing interest rates almost certainly to, to jump up. The pound has plummeted. I mean, let's talk about pensions, for example, because one of the reasons the Bank of England so say intervened yesterday and announced this package is because they were worried that many pension funds would go insolvent. Can you guarantee to my listeners this morning that their pensions are safe? Well, the Bank of England does a very, very good job on delivering financial stability. That, and that that, that's is exactly not an answer, Prime Minister. Doing. Can you guarantee Yesterday. that people's pensions but I are want safe? To, well, the Bank of England do that and they do a very good job of it. But I just wanted to answer the previous point you were making. This is a global financial situation. Currencies are under pressure around the world. This government has stepped in and taken decisive action on energy prices on getting the economy growing and also on inflation. Our energy package is is expected to reduce inflation by up to 5%. Well, it's it's now, not working so far, is it? Of course, those decisions... Of course, those... Well, the, as I've just said, the energy package comes into place this weekend. And what, what this is about is about curbing inflation. So it's making yeah. inflation less than it otherwise would have been. But this okay, is a global well, problem, and I think, on, I think on, it would be helpful energy, if you did look at the situation in other countries on as energy, well. On energy, yeah, it's bad in other countries, but some would say what's happened and what was announced on Friday made things worse in the UK. Remember, now the cost but of borrowing for the UK acted, government is higher for the UK than it is for Italy and Greece at the moment. Bear that in mind. On energy, Dan on Twitter wants me to ask you about small businesses suffering with high energy costs. When will they know more about what support will be on offer after six months? Well, the, the business secretary is doing some work on that, and that will be, I think, in about two months, he will give people more details of how that, how that package will work. But we're, we're determined to make sure that small businesses are supported. As I've just said, the majority 
of the package that we announced on Friday at the mini budget is about energy support. So on one hand, you're saying uh, you don't like the package. On the other hand, you're saying people need a more energy support. I mean... <laughs> The reason well, I don't, that think, we I don't think any. I don't think anyone is difficult. objecting, Prime Minister, to the energy support that you announced. I think what people are worried about is the tax cuts that were announced for the wealthy, primarily on Friday, which first of all people think are unfair because if you're going to have that level of public spending required, shouldn't it be spent in other areas? And secondly, it spooked the markets. Borrowing has shot up. I thought you believed in sound money. I thought you believed in low levels of borrowing. That's what you said when you were part of David Cameron's government. Or have you changed your mind on that, like you did about Brexit? I do believe in sound money. Uh, I would point out that interest rates are going up around the world. The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates. This is a global phenomenon. But what, what we need to do, and we had the highest tax burden for 70 years, and we've reduced taxes across the board. And in a lot of cases, it's simply not raising taxes, as we've done on corporation tax. But what we are doing is we are making sure that taxes are lower so we attract investment into the economy and we get those high paid jobs into the economy because as well as facing high inflation, as well as facing high energy prices, we're also facing an economic slowdown. So that is why it's important to have lower taxes across the board, including on national insurance, which affects millions of people, including on income tax, which affects millions of people, so that we get the economy going, so that we get the investment we need to keep people in work and to make sure people get higher wages. That is why we're doing what we're doing. Prime Minister, thank you. The Prime Minister, Liz Truss, live on BBC Radio Bristol.